some dispute around the South China Sea. This is disgusting. This is China Coast Guard vessel. China has indisputable sovereignty over the Nansha Islands. Here's this wing-shaped reef down in the South China Sea. The Philippines says it's theirs, China says it's theirs. The Philippines calls it a union show, China calls it Ren Ai Jiao. And the former colonists call it Le Bon Thomas Deuxième. It's 15 by 5 kilometers, but it's not even a piece of land. It only emerges at low tide, it's underwater most of the time, and certainly nobody lives here. And why does the Philippines say it's theirs? Hey, Xiaowa, I'm just gonna like throw this edge of your pond for a little bit because it's closer to where I live than where you live. I want to take that as a yes. Doom, 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 doom. Across the world, the reef's legal status is low tide elevation. Historically, fishermen from several countries in the area, like China, have used reefs in the region as temporary docking sites. However, territorial disputes around this reef started in the 20th century ever since resources were found in the nearby waters. Different countries had different maps and documents and records to show it's hey, theirs. The map I had from 1984. But according to treaties signed in 1898, 1900, and 1930, the reef was not part of the Philippines' territory. But then in 1999, the Philippines went out to occupy the reef by intentionally beaching a warship called the BRP Sierra Madre. Oh, damn! I guess we'll see what happens in 25 years! The Philippines has promised multiple times to tow the ship, but it's been 25 years and it's still there. Philippine Navy personnel still live on it as we speak. The ship's frequently replenished in these years. Oh. If I were on that ship, I would find peace watching an endless rerun of Triangle. You enter a place, everything you see. And a most recent clash happened in March where the Philippines was apparently spotted carrying construction materials to the reef to make it rise above sea level and become land it could really occupy. You know what? I don't give a crap. I'm just gonna send these construction materials to the reef and see what happens in 25 years. <laughs> And the Philippines says these materials are used to repair the ship. Permanently. Hey, it's important that all of you people see this. Yeah? Oh, oh those bitches! There's no need to repair it. Just tow the fucking ship! So when the Philippines is spotted trying to send construction materials to the reef, China responds, and then the Philippines responds, and then the Western media responds, and then China responds more, it's a train wreck. And of course, the United States has always existed in this process. Speaking from the U.S. government, this essential structure has to be here due to strategic importance to the United States and its allies around the world. That's done in the form of drill after drill after drill. Nice American people, I need more bikes. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. When such attempts happen, China Coast Guard uses water cannon to shoo off incoming Philippine ships and accuses the United States for using Philippines as a pawn to destabilize the South China Sea. The United States continues through our own operations to be physically present in the region on a daily basis and we continue to fly, sail, and operate uh, everywhere that international law allows. They only not do that where the penguins live! And in a recently released audio, China and the Philippines appear to have reached a new agreement on the shipwreck, which the Philippines denied again in just a few days. And this has happened multiple times before. And that's pretty much what happens round and round in a circle around this whole issue. What do you guys think? Should I throw more trash in so this place will be mine? Let me know in the comment section down below!